Reverse contingency. What now are you teaching me and how many things about real estate do I not know about? We're going to be teaching you something new today. Hope you're having a good day. This is a good start to the new week. It is a little bit rainy. It is what it is, but it's going to be a busy week. A lot of people are starting school, whether you're a student or a teacher, you're starting school this week, um, which means the end of summer for a lot of people. And it's also my birthday week, so it's going to be an interesting week. Hopefully you're, hopefully you're an exciting, having a good start to the week this Monday, even though it's a little bit rainy out, it's a little bit cloudy. It's okay. We'll take it. It's a fresh new week to start something new. So we're here on Chris's Corner talking about some new real estate related tips and tricks. And today we're going to talk about a rever what is a reverse contingency. This, I I'm talking to the people who have a house townhouse who have property i'm talking to property owners who are looking to move but and they already have a property right now that they need to sell in order to move into a new property now before i explain what a reverse contingency contingency is let me preface let me let me preface preface this with something anytime you need to sell your property to buy something new 99 percent of the time you are going to have to take a leap of faith in this market, in this competitive seller's market. You're gonna to need to take a leap of faith. You're gonna to need to put your home on the, what I mean by that is putting your home on the market, getting an offer accepted on your property without exactly knowing where you're gonna to go to, without exactly having a house lined up. Now that gets people, that's good, that gets a lot of people nervous, upset, kind of in uh, stressed to think about that. I will say, to get to plan to get from where you are now to where you want to be, you have to take a leap of faith. And I'm, I'm telling you this now more times than not. Whenever I see this happen over and over and over, when you take the leap of faith, you will be rewarded. When you do things right, you will be rewarded and things will work out for you. It is just committing to the leap of faith and having to make the decision to do it. Now, a reverse contingency is for those who are really only looking to move if the situation just lines up perfectly, who are not willing to take the leap of faith and who will only move if everything works out exactly how you want it to play out. Now, let me explain. Typically, when you decide to sell your house and you get under contract, typically, the only time you could back out of that contract is within the first five days. There's something called the attorney review and inspection period. And so within those first five days, if you're selling your property and you're under contract, you can back out for whatever reason, right? So if you don't find a house and you're worried and you're stressed, within that first week, you can get out of your contract, no worries, you're fine. Now, with the reverse contingency, this gives you the option of being able to back out anytime. Not just within the first five days. I mean, think about it. if you're moving and you get an offer on your house within those first five days. That's a that's a very short time frame. And if you don't back out within those five days, then there are then they could then there can be can then there will be consequences if you back out of the contract because the buyer has a contract to buy your property. And if you just back out, no matter if you just back out after that when they're expecting it, they have everything lined up, they're ready to go, and you just back out say, hey, you know, I'm not selling my house, then there could be some consequences for you. Now, if you do a reverse contingency, though, you can back out anytime. You can say, hey, look, I'm going to sell you my house. And if I don't find the property that I'm looking for in 30, 60, 90 days, if I don't find it and get under contract on that property in one, two, three months, whatever the date is for you to, then this contract is done. It's null. I, I'm going to back out. No issues, no, no issues, whatever. No issues at all. So that's basically what a reverse contingency means. It means you have the freedom to look for properties and if you don't find anything, you can back out. There's no worries. You don't have to sell your house. You get to keep your house and you get to stay where you are and you're not contractually obligated to sell your property. Now, this is very, I would not recommend doing this for a lot of people. You need to have a very unique situation for this to work because I feel like you're, you're kind of setting yourself up for, for failure if you do rely on this. Now, you, I'm sure you've heard of the term, you know, burn the boats. If you have this plan B in the back of your head the entire time, if you have a reverse contingency that allows you to back out at any moment, 
then you're just gonna you're gonna allow that to take over. And if you're looking at properties, you're gonna in, unless you find the perfect property, you're never gonna have the motivation or the urgency or the energy to actually take the leap and say, hey, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's just get this done. If you have this reverse contingency, I have a feeling that you're not burning the boats, which means you're gonna always have a plan B. And that means that, hey, if I don't find the perfect place, I'm not gonna move, I'm just gonna stay put, which is, it's okay. At the same time, when are you gonna find the perfect place? When does the perfect thing ever happen in anybody's life? When do you find the perfect partner? When do you find the perfect car, the perfect house? The per A lot of times the perfect things don't actually exist or they're not attainable. So I would say this, I would not recommend this generally it's a very unique situation where it would work out for people depending on your very unique situation but the majority of the time i would not i would not uh, advise on trying to use this contingency first of all a lot of buyers will likely not accept it because they don't want to be hanging in the wings saying hey i got i had my next house but they can back out in a month or two and i'm back to square one so not a lot of buyers buyers might not go for it is what i'm saying and two if they are going for it you're kind of just giving yourself a plan B on, on not letting it work out. And if you really want to do, if you want to really want to make a big change in your life, it takes a lot of energy and effort. And if you don't put that into it, it's likely not going to happen. So that's our tip for this Monday. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing Monday. Hope you have a great start to the school year. If you're starting school, if you're a teacher, if you're in the school staff, hopefully you have an amazing school year. And... Otherwise, stay inside, stay dry, and hopefully you enjoy the day.